All right, hello, good evening. We have a breaking news story that happened in my neighborhood, Fresh Meadows. There was a shooting reported earlier this evening, and we're going to watch a video now from WABC TV where they actually had a live reporter as this was just happening earlier this afternoon. Now back to our top story and more. Gun insanity, insanity, this time in Queens, and we've just learned from police three people were shot in a drive-by shooting in Fresh Meadows. One of the victims, just 14 years old. I would assume reporter Jim Dolan now at the scene with the latest. Jim. Yeah, Bill, and the other two who were shot were 18-year-old males. We're on 188th Street in Fresh Meadows. Let's take a look at some Citizens app video that was shot just a few minutes after this happened, which was shortly after 4 o'clock. Two 18-year-old males, both shot in the leg. And just th this, this, the shooting came from a moving vehicle. So there is another scene a block or so away from here, right around the corner, where a 14-year-old girl was shot in the neck. All three of these people are expected to survive. There are no life-threatening injuries, but again, three people shot from a moving vehicle. Two of those victims, 18 years old, a third victim, and a 14-year-old girl was shot in the neck. Police still here on the scene trying to figure out exactly what happened. No arrests yet in this case. So that was an excellent report by uh, Jim Dolan. I mean, I was very surprised that he was able to get out here pretty quickly this, um, tonight. But I did find out from their assignment desk at WABC TV, they are planning to do a live report at 11 o'clock. So we might hear more people getting interviewed this evening. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens on that end. So according to the Child 7 interview, it says here that the girl was shot in the neck and was taken to Cohen's Children's Medical Center. The two 18-year-olds were both struck in the leg and were taken to Booth Memorial Medical Center in Flushing. Police said the group was targeted, but it's unclear which victims were the intended target. So we do have an update from Laura Uhl. So let's read this. So it says that, um, hang on here. Ugh, I am so sorry, folks. I thought that. She had a vehicle description. Here we go. Okay. Police are looking for a Dodge Charger and the other are a, is a BMW. Dark tinted. So. Sounds like people ran into local stores for safety. So I'm thinking most people probably were smart enough. They went inside Walgreens or Laundromat. My goodness. I mean... I was literally on 188th Street with my father a half hour before this shooting happened. Okay, here we go. So it says that um, there was a father walking with the daughter with two brothers ahead who were shot. So this might have had to do with a protest that was happening with the Wyndham Garden. But that's a little bit unusual because I didn't see any protesting happening at 3.30. So, it's a little bit unusual. So, I'll read this last article because I really do have to make this brief. I have another commitment tonight I have to get to, but here we go. Man forces young woman to exit Main Street subway station before exposing himself to her in a building in Flushing. So, it says here that it happened at 9.45 a.m. last Thursday, April 21st. The suspect approached her from behind, grabbed her by the arm, and forced her to walk upstairs and exit the station. The 22-year-old female victim um, was forced to Main Street and Casino Boulevard and forced her into the lobby of a eight-story apartment building at 41-25 Casino Boulevard across the street from Queens Public Library's Flushing Branch. Once inside the building, the suspect fortunately restrained the young woman and exposed himself. The victim put up a fight and was able to break free and escape the building's lobby to report the herring ordeal to the NYPD. The victim was not injured and refused medical attention, while well, the suspect fled in an unknown direction. So it says here that Crime Stoppers released a image of the suspect. Medium build, dark complexion, long black hair, brown eyes, and facial hair. <clears throat> so it says here 
Scott. The suspect in question is around the age of 30, around 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing 160 pounds. A accurate description, the suspect was wearing a blue baseball cap, dark colored pants, black shoes, white face mask, dark colored t-shirt with an Aeropostale New York logo across the chest, dark colored pants, black shoes, and he was last seen carrying a light bag. Here's a pretty good look of him. But I mean, regarding fresh metals, I mean that that's just still disturbing. So I'm gonna show you where this is. So let's Google it. So let's see. Pull it up right now. Cause it's just so scary to think that I was on the Q88 bus yesterday in this area. I mean, you really cannot make this stuff up. I mean, my goodness. You know, this is what's going on in my community. It's just so, so unfortunate. I mean, I, I'm in the fight for my survival here, folks. So, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. And, you know, I'm, I'm just counting my blessings that, you know, this happened... Literally a half hour after I was out of this area with my father. So that's it.